Yes, everybody, Daniel here for Arsenal Above All. Just pulled up outside my house after driving home from the game. I had to talk to a few gunners and um, I really contemplate my thoughts before doing the vlog. Otherwise, it would have just sounded like a, a rant like some other fan TV channels. But yeah, just a really poor performance, really bad all round. You know, we didn't look like a club who were in the hunt for a title, chasing City. Um, we've handed it to them with our form in the last um, few weeks. Unfortunately, the wobble has, has, has cost us being in the run for that. Fortunately, it hasn't cost us like it did last season where we dropped out, out of the race for the top four, ultimately. Um, but still, having been in the race for so long and being in top position for such a long time, albeit we're only ahead by eight points max with a game in hand for City. So it was always going to be a tough ask, um, especially with the players that City have. It's just disappointing how we've kind of undone ourselves, especially at home to Southampton, to Brighton, to Newcastle and to Brentford. Uh, we've, we've kind of undone ourselves, really. Um, and that is what people mean when they talk about having a winning mentality. I know we, uh, many of us don't agree with, with Rio and Gary Neville, and pe people like that, but... Until we can start proving the pundits otherwise, then unfortunately these labels are going to be um, levied towards us. Having said that, you know, none of them had us in the top four and challenging for a title. Um, so they can go and um, do one <laughs> in that respect. But I do understand the opinions um, uh, in terms of um, Arsenal needing that winning mentality. I don't know if it's a personnel thing. I don't know if it's a... a, a staffing thing I'm, I'm mentality I'm not sure I'm sure Arteta and Edu are working on it they're going to have to because being in the Champions League next season and um, being in the Premier League is going to be a tough ask so um, improvements need to be made all around in the staffing and in the uh, playing personnel as well so um, yeah I'm more I'm more kind of disappointed with the fact that considering the position we've been in um, we've kind of let it really wobble quite badly of late um, and uh, it, is, it is what it is so next season, we, we need to kind of address these things and hopefully improve in certain areas, have better application. Look, I know this is football. You're going to lose games, but at least lose a game fighting. Today, there was just none, none of that, nothing. If you're not winning the first and second balls, at least fight. At least, you know, pull a man back if he's running clear of you. Give someone a little barge. You know, sometimes you've got to put those kind of... Um, challenges and those kind of tenacious ways into the way you play if, if it's not going well footballing wise you've got to look at other means um, and maybe sometimes Arsenal are guilty of, of not doing that enough um, and being bullied a bit too much there, there was quite a lot of that today um, but Brighton did it with skill and with, with tactics really um, so yeah it is what it is guys really bad I'm looking for us to now bounce back against Forest and against Wolves at least give City something to think about the last couple of games now if they're going to win the title, cool. But let's not just just lie down and have poor results for for, for the last couple of games of the season. All right, cool. I'll be on the, the the blog later. So this is Daniel for Arsenal. Above all questions and comments, welcome. Um, yeah, bad day for Arsenal at the office. Um, home form needs to improve next season. Squad needs major surgery next season. What more can I say? I'm out. <laughs>